have been announced by the Minister for Health. Leo Radker is introducing an advocacy service and increasing the watchdog HICWA's powers. The plans have been given a cautious welcome by groups representing patients. Olive O'Connor from County Mayo has three children, all with chronic illnesses. Her husband had a mild stroke at the age of 42, and Olive herself has heart arrhythmias. For her, patient safety is hugely important. Even a year after my smallest girl had heart surgery, um, I got diagnosed with a thing called PTSD, which is post-traumatic stress disorder. And it happened because it was such a trauma to us. It took us a while for her to get diagnosed before I was listening to properly. Olive was among those attending the 5th National Patient Safety Conference, where Health Minister Leo Varadkar announced plans to improve services. The package includes measures such as simplifying the complaints procedure and increasing the powers of the Ombudsman, a new annual survey to assess patients' experiences around the country, the establishment of a National Patient Safety Office reporting directly to the Minister for Health and a system that collects data on patient safety from all hospitals. High-profile cases such as last year's report into the death of babies at Port Leash Hospital highlighted the need to address the issue. The Health Minister admits the changes could have been rolled out sooner. Yeah, look, it should have been, um, but patient safety is an ongoing process. You can never uh, just say that everything is done and now everything is fine. You know, it's something that evolves and it's something that changes over time. And bear in mind, a lot has been done. Uh, for example, the creation of HICWA, which... Uh, sets regulations and inspects hospitals and uh, nursing homes and disability facilities and has really improved standards uh, in those places. Patient groups are giving the measures a cautious welcome but say it will take time for them to be delivered. Olive says when it comes to a patient advocacy service, it's important that everyone works together. It needs to be a partnership approach. It needs to be we're all either users or um, working in health services and at the end of the day we're all going to be using our health service even if you think you're the healthiest person at the end we will use it so we need to be working together the plans announced today will take up to two years to implement kevin Purcell, ireland live news oh, we're joined now by stephen mcmahon from the patient safety association uh, stephen mr Varadkar says this is the most wide-ranging measures of patient safety reforms in the history of the state is it wide-ranging enough in your, your view? Will it work? Well, certainly uh, what the Minister has done and his officials has pulled together like the reins of a, of a, of a, of a horse that's been all over the place uh, to give us some direction and to uh, take, how would they say, organisational grip on the whole aspect of patient safety. So they've looked at a lot of the existing um, um, methods